Hello YouTube, it's Brad, the Masonic Gamer. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, at Masonic Gamer. So today's video, just a bit of a chat. General chat. I've not done a video for a long time, so I thought this would be a good way to get back in front of the camera again. Something that I've been thinking about doing for a little while. It's just little five, ten minute chats about gaming, about what's going on, going on in my life, a bit of everything really. So, it's not really a pick up video, there's something to show you that I've got interested in again. But yeah, just a chat. As you can probably see, it's changed a lot around here. Um, a lot of my games, I've said it in a past video, have been put away. The little lad now is 15 months old, so sticky fingers and he's got this habit of just pulling them off. And as you probably know, behind me used to be full. This used to always be full of PlayStation 1 games. Um, 847, I believe, the last count. And then cases, you breathe on them wrong, they crack, <laughs> they just come off, so they've all got away. Um, so at the moment now I'm down to about 200 games out here. If you follow me on Twitter, another shelving UV down there in the 8 bit corner. Um, that's got a lot of 8 bit stuff on, but that's quite high up, so we can't get to that stuff. But yeah, this is the main game. They have about 200 games out in total. Uh, as you should probably say, the Xbox Pods new. That came in um, November, December, I think. Is it Christmas time? Is it this year? It might have been January. But yeah, it's quite quite recent that we got that. And we're getting something like this is come a new side collection, shall we say, which is the Xbox original Xbox games. Um, total at the moment about 140, 150 games. Most of the big hitters I've got now, so Steel Battalions I've got, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, in fact, most of them. I've got most of the big hitters. So we'll see where that collection leads. Um, I was contemplating going for a full set, which the list I've got is about 947. But there's a lot of crap. <laughs> um, and I quite like sports games, but the problem is you get sports games, sports games, sports games. It's only so many times, it's the same game as it is with the FIFA's this generation. Yeah, it's the same bloody game, just rehashed each year. So we'll see where that collection goes. Um, I would like to go for a full set, but 947. I've said this with the PlayStation 1. And I've done really well on that. Again, all the big hitters have gotten the PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2 similar, has about 700 and something. It might be close to 800 games on there. So I've got a good chunk of them games. And I know a lot of people don't collect them. I don't care, I like them, enjoy them. But I'm really loving the Xbox at the moment. I've got an Xbox set up here. I actually got an Xbox set up on the Sony down there, the Trinitron, which is really nice. Um, Health-wise, I'm better, a lot better. I've still got high blood pressure. But I have lost some weight, so I've also stopped smoking, which is bloody hard. And the benefits from that, even though I only stopped yesterday, the benefits already after 24 hours are unbelievable. I mean, I was coughing constantly with a cold nip in the air at the moment. I got outside, I could feel it on my chest straight away. That is all but gone. Um, already that's just after 24 hours. And yeah, I found it difficult today, but not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, for some reason I thought it was going to be this horrible and I've got the kids in the daytime and I won't be able to cope. But to tell you the truth, the kids in the daytime have been a pleasant distraction from smoking so it has helped a little bit, even though when you get stressed out all you think about is having a smoke. So yeah, health wise, doing alright, doing pretty well, still got to lose a bit more weight, uh, getting blood pressure down a little bit, I'm on top of some blood pressure. So if I can carry on losing a bit of weight, stopping smoking will help, cut down on caffeine, I do like a cup of coffee I'm afraid. If I can do that, <coughs> that's a cough now, that's what I'll try and get rid of. It's nowhere near as bad as it was. Um, if I can get rid, get the caffeine out of my system as well, my blood pressure should just get down and down and down. Hopefully, eventually, get off these tablets. Exercise wise, I'm definitely doing my um, 10,000 steps a day. Um, that's something I started in January for New Year. And I've done that every day, if not more, 20,000 steps. Usually 15,000, I walk everywhere and I must have the fittest three-year-old because she walks with me <laughs> and she doesn't complain, she loves it. We go for massive walks every day. We get out there, we do it, uh, rain or shine. Um, it's like having a dog every day. <laughs> she goes off in the park, we just go everywhere. So it's good for kids to have fresh air anyway. Um, healthy lifestyle, healthy start to life. So yeah, what we're doing, concentrating on this. Collection-wise, it's still split, split amongst 10, 15 systems from GameCube, Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, Xbox, uh, 
Super Nintendo, Fat Club, you name it, I collect for it, as you know. I've got into the Game Boy Advance a little bit. I was an original Game Boy player back in the day. Didn't really bother with the Advance so much, but um, recently I got a AGS 101 from Dave Iron Game Geek, part of a trade, and that screen is absolutely amazing. It's so crisp. So I started picking up a few box complete games for that. Um, most recent one was Aladdin, which is straight SNES port. Now, to me, Aladdin should be played on the Genesis or the Mega Drive. It's the best version by far. In fact, it's one of the only Mega Drive games I've still got out there in the loft. Uh, we play it quite often. But on the Game Boy Advance, it's an absolutely brilliant game. Balls are, but brilliant. The next thing I've started doing, I've started programming again. Now, I'm still working my way through a game, which I was doing last year. I'll have an update on that very soon. Um, that is now close to probably about 50% done. Probably about 50 60% done. We've got two guys that are doing the sprites, which we've got on board. We've got somebody doing the sound. Uh, the sound guy's taking a while to do as part of it, but everything sort of works now. The mechanics are all there. Better update. You've seen the first early builds and very early builds. That has now changed completely. We'll update in a future video. It's, I'm not really talking about that now. It's more about what's happening, what's going on. The next thing I've started doing is I've done some more programming and I've gone back to basic, literally. It's basic. I managed to pick up, there's a nice little story behind this, uh, Commodore 64. This week, or last week, it's um, what we're doing Tuesday, I picked this up on Friday. So, I managed to get this, Thursday, sorry, it was Thursday last week. Commodore 64, Breadbent, absolutely brilliant machine, fond memories of it, even though I never owned one. My, one of my best friends at the time had one of these, I had an Amstrad CPC 464 with a color monitor. But he had this, and as friends do, around each other's house, Mine's better than yours, yours is better than mine. I to admit, I was a bit jealous of this compared to the Amstrad. Um, but I've got a lot of love for the Amstrad, it's something I'm going to get again. But yeah, this opportunity to caught was Gumtree. I got this with a load of games, tape decks, three quick shot, two joysticks, and some unreleased games. And the story behind this, well, it's just a story, I've actually been in touch with Tony, um, Electric Adventures, about this. So he's going to have to send some stuff over to Tasmania where he is for him to have a look at. The guy that owned this was a developer back in the 80s and some of his work was published. Now he's given me, along with the original games and things like that, some of his master tapes for his published work and also some unpublished work as long as some like dev tools that they built at the time. Now I don't know anything about really that like, I can write 10 print Brad is Ace or whatever, <laughs> run it and then go from that screen. But saying that, I have started building a um, Space Invaders clone, which I'm just working through a book and altering it. But anyway, these tapes are unreleased and released masters. So I didn't really know what to do with them. I don't know any C64 collectors as such. The only person I could think of that was into that side of development was Tony, Alex Preventus. So I spoke to him very briefly by Facebook. We'll just do a Skype chat very soon, I'm going to arrange that. And these are going out to Tony so he can have a look at them and hopefully preserve them into a digital format, he was saying, which is quite interesting. So obviously they're on tape and tapes don't last very long. But the tapes are actually in really, really good condition. They were all wrapped up and I mean they're just normal tapes, but it's got like Master Copy, Dungeons and Dragons and things like that that they've worked on at the time. So really interesting little backstory to it. He's filled in a little QA session for me via email, so I've got his name, what happened when it sold it to this developer in Leeds, etc. etc. Which was quite an interesting bit to get along with this Commodore 64. It was a top old guy, he must have been 65, 66, and he came round with it and he's basically downgraded from a six bedroom house to a two bedroom bungalow because his wife's not very well. And he was just getting shut of everything. So I picked up this and a few other bits off him at the same time, which we'll show in a future video. And I think he just wanted somebody to talk to that was interested in what he used to do. I mean, obviously, if his wife's ill with Alzheimer's or what I think it was anyway, I'm not 100% there. You know, she's not going to be very interested in what he used to do. My battery's really now. So he just wanted somebody to talk to. So he was around there for about 40 minutes having a chat, and a coffee, telling me all about the good old days of development. It was really interesting. And he's actually said that if next time he'll come round, he's only moving locally still, he lives local. And we'll get it on video and have a good chat, so that'll be something interesting to do down the line in a couple of weeks' time, maybe. But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, give a quick update on the channel, what I've been doing, where I've been. And I really do wish you all well. Um, I hope everybody's well. I've spoken to a few people. 
it's good to see a few faces coming back onto YouTube and the videos. You know, people that I've been watching for a long time, they might not watch my video, I don't care. But you know, it's nice to have a, a quick look at what people are up to. And I think a lot of people now have decided that YouTube is becoming more of a hobby or that's the wrong way of saying it. They're debating about the collection and YouTube and playing games and stuff. And to me, YouTube's just my part of the internet, my little part of the world. Somewhere where I can come and sit, talk to the camera, show off some things I've got, and yeah, just enjoy the internet and you know, meet new people. And I've met some really cool people. In fact, I can honestly say I haven't met any bad people. I've become good friends with some people as well, like really close friends, which is cool. So, yeah, that's my little video, a little update. And as always, I said in an earlier video, I'm doing a video a week, so this is just a little get myself back in front of the camera video. Yeah. A uh, little chat and something I'll probably do once a month or something like that updates. But my battery has got to go because it's not been turned on for that long as camera. So as always guys, I want you to keep gaming, enjoy yourselves. As Raz says, be nice to each other. Life's too short. I've learned that recently. Life is too short. Uh, we must move forward. That's all I'm going to say. But as always, keep gaming guys and I will be back very soon. Cheers guys, bye.